In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up web hosting for your reseller hosting clients using cPanel. So if you're a hosting reseller or a web designer looking to get started with reseller hosting, then this is going to be the video for you. I'm going to be showing you how quick and easy it is to start hosting your clients' websites using cPanel and to start bringing in an extra stream of recurring revenue. This is Elliot with Verpex and let's get straight into it. Step one, identify the type of hosting required. So determine what type of website your client needs. Do they need an e-commerce website? Will they require managed WordPress hosting because they plan on getting a lot of traffic from the offset? Make a choice depending on your client's needs. We offer super affordable hosting services here at Verpex with 24 seven customer support, easy one-click installs for software such as WordPress and a 45 day money back guarantee. So I'll leave a link in the description to our hosting package Let's continue on to the next step. Step two, add your client's domain to cPanel. So now you know what type of website your client needs. Next up, you need to point your client's domain name to your servers. If the client purchased the domain name, you can provide them with instructions of how to point the URL to your host. In cPanel, go to domain, then click on add on domains and add the client's domain. Make sure that the client has pointed their domain name to your name servers for this to work. You can find your name servers by logging into your Verpex hosting account, clicking on products and services, finding your hosting plan and clicking on manage product. Then go to the manage tab and you'll see your name servers that you can share with your client. The client then simply needs to add these name servers under the DNS area from their domain provider's website. It's sometimes easier to ask for your client's domain provider login credentials so you can set this up yourself. Now the majority of WordPress or WooCommerce hosting plans will come with a set number of websites or domains that you can operate at one time. So as long as you have the available slots, you can start setting up your client's websites. If not, you can always upgrade to the next plan and then you can start adding your client's websites. Pro tip, don't purchase the domain name for your client. Domain names are easy to purchase, but a headache to transfer. So it's always best to let your client purchase the domain name and then for them to provide you with the login credentials so you can go and handle the DNS part of the domain name. Step three, start building the client's website. From here, you can start setting up the client's websites and complete testing and revisions on the client's domain. I recommend to set up a temporary under construction page for the client's site during this process for any visitors that may come over to the website. You can easily do this using simple WordPress plugins. Step four, configure the server settings. Now it's time to configure the server settings for your client's website, including backups. Most hosting plans will come with automatic backups or upgrades. So if that's the case, you can just use this as the default for your client's websites. Step five, launch the site. Once the client is happy with the website and you're ready to launch, you can simply remove the maintenance page and you're ready to go. Now just remember, you will be the first port of call if anything goes wrong with the website as you are hosting the website. And that is it for this tutorial. You now have a step-by-step -step process of how to set up your client's hosting in cPanel. I hope you have taken value from the video. And if you want to learn more about reseller hosting, then check out the videos on screen now and make sure to subscribe to the channel. This has been Elliot with Verpex and I'll see you in the next one.